Here are 60 most commonly asked REST API related interview questions, along with detailed answers. 1. What is REST, and how does it differ from SOAP? ANT's REST representational state transfer is an architectural style for designing networked applications. Unlike SOAP's simple object access protocol, REST is stateless, uses standard HTTP methods, and relies on resource representations. 2. Explain the main principles of RESTful architecture. ANT's RESTful principles include statelessness, client-server architecture, uniform interface, capability, layered system, and code-on-demand optional. These principles promote simplicity, scalability, and flexibility. 3. What are the key components of a RESTful API? Answer. Key components include resources URI, HETP, methods get, post, put, delete, representations sin, ZML, statelessness, and hypermedia as the engine of application state Hadios. 4. How does REST handle statelessness, and why is it important? Answer. REST is stateless meaning each request from a client contains all the information needed for the server to fulfill that request. Statelessness simplifies server design, improves scalability, and enhances reliability. 5. What is the purpose of HTTP methods in RESTful APIs? Answer. HTTP methods get, post, put, delete, etc. Define the operations that can be performed on resources. They indicate the desired action for a given resource and contribute to the statelessness of REST. 6. Explain the significance of URI in RESTful APIs. Answer. URI's uniform resource identifiers uniquely identify resources in a RESTful API. They are used to locate and interact with resources, forming a critical part of the API's design. 7. How does RESTful API support content negotiation? Answer. Content negotiation allows clients and servers to agree on the representation format as an ZML for communication. It is typically achieved through the accept and content type headers in HTTP requests and responses. 8. What are RESTful web services and how are they different from RESTful APIs? ANT's RESTful web services are APIs conforming to REST principles. The terms are often used interchangeably, but RESTful web services typically refer to APIs that serve over the web using standard web protocols. 9. Explain the concept of idempotence in the context of REST. Answer. Idempotence means that an operation's effect is the same whether it's applied once or multiple times. In REST, Operations like get and put are inherently idempotent, ensuring predictable behavior. 10. How does RESTful API handle authentication? Answer. RESTful APIs commonly use authentication mechanisms like API keys, oath tokens, or juice. These credentials are included in HTTP headers to verify the identity of the client. 11. What is the purpose of the options HTTP method in RESTful APIs? Answer. The options method is used to retrieve information about the communication options available for a resource. It is helpful for handling pre-flight requests and cross-origin resource sharing cores. 12. Explain the role of status codes in RESTful API responses. Answer. Status codes indicate the success or failure of an HTTP request. Examples include 200 OK, 201 created, 400 for not found, and 500 internal server error. They provide information about the outcome of the request. 13. How does REST handle versioning of APIs? Answer. API versioning in REST can be achieved through URI versioning custom headers, or using query parameters. Versioning ensures backward compatibility and smooth transitions when changes are introduced. 14. What is HADIOS, and why is it important in RESTful APIs? Answer. HADIOS hypermedia as the engine of application state. 
means that a client interacts with the application entirely through hypermedia provided dynamically by the application servers. It enhances discoverability and reduces coupling. 15. Explain the role of query parameters in RESTful API requests. Answer. Query parameters are used to filter, sort, or paginate results in RESTful API requests. They are included in the URI after a question mark and separated by ampersands. 16. How does RESTful API handle error responses, and what are common error status codes? Answer. Error responses in RESTful APIs include appropriate HTTP status codes, for example, 4xx for client errors, 5xx for server errors, along with the descriptive error message in the response body. 17. What is the purpose of rate limiting in RESTful APIs, and how is it implemented? Answer. Rate limiting controls the number of requests a client can make within a specified time frame preventing abuse, and ensuring fair usage. It is often implemented using tokens, quotas, or time-based limits. 18. Explain the role of content compression in RESTful APIs. Answer. Content compression reduces the size of data transferred between clients and servers, improving performance, and reducing latency. Common compression methods include JIP and deflate. 19. How does RESTful API handle versioning in URIs vs. Using custom headers? Answer. Versioning in URIs involves including the version number directly in the resource path, while custom headers involve specifying the version in the request or response headers. Both approaches have pros and cons. 20. What is the purpose of eTag in RESTful APIs, and how does it contribute to catching? Answer, tag entity tag is a unique identifier assigned to a resource. It helps in catching by allowing clients to check if a resource has changed since the last request, reducing unnecessary data transfer. 21. What is cross-origin resource sharing cores in the context of RESTful APIs? Answer, cores is a security feature implemented by web browsers to restrict web pages from making requests to a different domain than the one that served the web page. It involves adding specific headers to HTTP requests. 22. Explain the concept of content negotiation in RESTful APIs and how it impacts responses. Answer. Content negotiation involves determining the best representation format for a resource. Clients and servers negotiate the format using the accept and content type headers in HTTP requests and responses. 23. How can you ensure the security of sensitive information in RESTful API requests and responses? Answer. Security measures include using HTS, encrypting sensitive data, employing secure authentication mechanisms like OATH, and validating input data to prevent injection attacks. 24. What is the purpose of the head HTTP method in RESTful APIs? Answer. The head method is similar to GET, but does not return the actual data. It only retrieves the headers. It is useful for checking resource metadata or verifying resource existence. 25. Explain the role of OATH in securing RESTful APIs, and how does it work? Answer. OATH is an authorization framework that enables secure third-party access to resources without sharing credentials. It involves token-based authentication, where an access token is issued for authorized access. 26. How does RESTful API versioning using custom headers provide advantages over versioning in URIs? Answer. Versioning in custom headers allows for cleaner and more flexible URIs avoiding clutter. It also supports non-breaking changes, as version information is not directly tied to resource paths. 27. What is the purpose of the patch? HTTP method in RESTful APIs? Answer. Patch is used to apply partial modifications to a resource. It is often employed when updating only specific fields of a resource without affecting the entire representation. 
28. Explain the role of OATH scopes in controlling access to resources in RESTful APIs. Answer. A scopes define the level of access granted to an access token. They specify what actions or data the token holder can perform or access. Scopes provide fine-grained access control. 29. How can you handle versioning in RESTful APIs using media types MIME types? Answer. Versioning with media types involves specifying the version information in the accept header of the HTTP request. It allows for version negotiation based on content types. 30. What is the purpose of the options HTTP method in RESTful APIs, and how is it used for cores? Answer. The options method is used to retrieve information about the communication options available for a resource. In cores, it is crucial for handling pre-flight requests to check the server's core support. 31. How does RESTful API versioning using query parameters compare to other versioning approaches? Answer. Versioning through query parameters allows clients to specify the API version in the request. It provides simplicity and flexibility, making it easy to test and implement without modifying the URI structure. 32. Explain the role of URI templates in RESTful APIs and how they contribute to dynamic resource identification. Answer. URI templates allow for dynamic construction of URIs based on placeholders and values. They enhance flexibility in resource identification and can be used to create more readable and predictable URIs. 33. What is the purpose of the Connect HTTP method in RESTful APIs? Answer. The Connect method is typically used for establishing a network connection through a proxy. While not commonly used in standard RESTful APIs, it can have specific applications in proxy communication. 34. Explain the role of response catching in improving the performance of RESTful APIs. Answer. Response catching involves storing copies of server responses. At intermediate points caches to reduce the need for repeated requests. It improves performance by reducing latency and server load. 35. How does the concept of content negotiation contribute to supporting multiple data formats in RESTful APIs? Answer. Content negotiation enables clients and servers to agree on the representation format ZML, ZML, etc. For communication, it ensures interoperability by allowing both JSON and ZML capable clients to interact with the same API. 36. What is the purpose of the PropFind HTTP method in RESTful APIs, and how is it used for web dev? Answer. PropFind is used in WebDAV web distributed authoring and versioning to retrieve properties of resources. It allows clients to discover metadata about resources on the server. 37. Explain how to implement pagination in RESTful APIs for handling large result sets. Answer. Pagination involves limiting the number of results per response and providing mechanisms like query parameters. For clients to navigate through pages of results, preventing information overload. 38. What are the advantages of using JSON Web Tokens JUT for authentication in RESTful APIs? Answer. JUTs are compact, self-contained, and can carry information about the user. They are stateless, enabling efficient and scalable authentication in distributed systems. 39. How does the concept of hypermedia as the engine of application state Hadios impact client interactions with RESTful APIs? Answer. Hadios allows clients to interact with an API entirely through hypermedia links provided dynamically by the server. It enhances discoverability and reduces the dependency on fixed URIs. 40. What role does idempotence play in the design and implementation of RESTful APIs? Answer. Idempotence ensures that an operation has the same result regardless of how many times it is performed. It simplifies error recovery, supports retries, and reduces unexpected side effects. 41. How can RESTful APIs handle long-running operations efficiently, and what are common approaches? Answer. 
Common approaches include asynchronous processing, learning status resources with polling, and leveraging WebSockets. These techniques ensure responsiveness while allowing time-consuming operations to complete. 42. Explain the purpose of the report HTTP method in RESTful APIs, particularly in the context of WebDAV. Answer. Report is used in WebDAV to perform custom operations on resources. It allows clients to request specific information or actions on resources beyond the standard HTTP methods. 43. How does RESTful API design adhere to the single responsibility principle SRP in software development? Answer. Each resource in a RESTful API typically represents a single entity or concept adhering to the SRP. This modular design enhances maintainability and makes the API more intuitive. 44. What role do status codes 201 created and 204 no content play in RESTful API responses? Answer. Status code 201 indicates successful resource creation, often accompanied by the location of the created resource. Status code 204 signifies a successful request with no response. Body, commonly used for delete requests. 45. Explain how conditional requests using if match and if none match headers enhance catching and prevent overwrites in RESTful APIs. Answer. Conditional requests allow clients to specify conditions for a request success based on resource versions. If match ensures the server performs an action only if the resource matches a provided e-tag, while if none match ensures the action only if there is no match. 46. How can you handle authentication and authorization in RESTful APIs using OATH20? Answer. OATH20 supports token-based authentication, allowing clients to obtain access tokens after successful authentication. Authorization is handled by scopes assigned to access tokens, specifying the level of access granted. 47. Explain the purpose of the trace HTTP method in RESTful APIs. Answer. Trace is primarily used for diagnostic purposes, providing a loopback of the request message. While not commonly used in practical applications, it can be useful for debugging and troubleshooting. 48. How does RESTful API design handle versioning when introducing breaking changes? Answer. When introducing breaking changes, consider maintaining backward compatibility by allowing clients to choose the API version. Deprecation notices and a gradual transition period can also be implemented. 49. Describe the role of content negotiation in supporting different languages and locales in RESTful APIs. Answer. Content negotiation can be extended to support language preferences through the Accept Language header. It allows clients to request responses in a specific language, enhancing internationalization. 50. What is the purpose of the options HTTP method in RESTful APIs, and how does it contribute to API discoverability? Answer. The options method provides information about the communication options available for a resource. It contributes to API discoverability by listing the supported methods, headers, and other capabilities. 51. Explain the role of response compression JIP in optimizing data transfer in RESTful APIs. Answer. JIP compression reduces the size of response payloads, optimizing data transfer and improving performance. Clients that support JIP can request compressed content with the accept encoding header. 52. How can you handle versioning in RESTful APIs using request headers, such as accept or content type? Answer. Versioning through headers involves specifying the version information. In the accept or content type headers of the HTTP request, it provides a clean separation between resource identification and versioning. 53. Describe the role of the patch method in RESTful APIs, and how it is different from the put method. Answer. Patch is used to apply partial modifications to a resource, updating only the specified fields. It differs from put, 
which typically replaces the entire resource or creates a new resource if it does not exist. 54. How can you design and implement paginated responses in RESTful APIs? Answer. Paginated responses involve using query parameters like page and page size to limit the number of results per response and provide navigation links for clients to request additional pages. 55. Explain the purpose of the unlock HTTP method in RESTful APIs, particularly in the context of WebDAV. Answer Unlock is used in WebDAV to unlock resources that have been previously locked for editing. It releases the lock and allows other clients to make modifications. 56. What are idempotent and safe methods in the context of HTTP and RESTful APIs? Answer. Idempotent methods, such as get, put, and delete, have the same result regardless of how many times they are called. Safe methods, such as get, do not change the state of the server. 57. How does HattieOS contribute to the self-discoverability and navigability of RESTful APIs? Answer. HattieOS allows clients to navigate through an API by providing hypermedia links dynamically in the responses. It promotes self-discoverability, reducing the need for clients to rely on out-of-band information. 58. Explain the role of the if modified since and if unmodified since headers in RESTful API requests. Answer. These headers support conditional requests. If modified since ensures that the server only responds with the resource if it has been modified since the specified date, while if unmodified since checks if the resource has not been modified. 59. How does the options method contribute to supporting cross-origin resource sharing cores in RESTful APIs? Answer. The options method is crucial for handling pre-flight requests in cores. It allows the client to check the server's core support and the allowed HTTP methods and headers before making the actual request. 60. Explain the role of the link and unlink methods in RESTful APIs, particularly in the context of web linking. Answer. Link is used to associate a resource with another resource using a specific relation type. Unlink removes this association. Both methods contribute to web linking and hypermedia linking in RESTful APIs. These questions and answers cover various aspects of RESTful APIs. These questions and answers provide additional insights into various aspects of RESTful API design and implementation. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.